Hello everyone, I'm Rumi and in this video we we are going to learn that how you can get list of the groups that you manage on Facebook. So in the last video I showed you that how you can get a list of all the you know pages that you liked on Facebook. So now we're going to work on the groups that you manage. Well the first thing I really want to tell you is this that Facebook actually had the permission that could help us to get the list of Facebook groups that you have joined but now they have you know removed that permission or they you know just made it available for the graph API version uh, 2.3 applications so here we go the first thing you need to do is to go to developers.facebook.com slash apps I'm going to work on, on my canvas app but you can use the same thing same structure that I'm going to use the code structure for this video tutorial for your website integration okay so as you can see I set the 40 graph API version 2.3 it's 2.4 and let me show you if you go to status and review there you need to go for items in review or you can auto click here once you click here you can simply click this button to add permissions in the developer account so if you simply scroll down and you're gonna get a permission like this user underscore groups and it's clearly written right here this permission is only available for apps using graph API version 2.3 or older so if your application has version 2.3 you can check it just you know by going to the dashboard then you can use this permission and this permission will let you get the list of all the groups that you have joined or the user who is using your application has joined on Facebook but they you know Facebook actually you know uh, didn't make it available for the you know 2.3 plus API versions applications for that we can only get the list of groups which are managed or administrated by the user and for that we they added a new permission called user underscore managed underscore groups and uh, this will let you you know get the list of the groups which is managed by a person on Facebook we're going to get it through the groups edge on the user object so we're going to work on group search. The first thing you need to do is to select this permission and add it in your developer account. Once it's done, as you can see, and it's not approved, it means the developers, the admins, and the testers of this application can, you know, utilize this permission without getting the approval. So it's done. Now I'll get back to the code here. I'm gonna put it in the video description the link of course to this code okay you need to change the app ID app secret if you are following me through the you know previous videos then you know how to change the basic step to get started and you know how to download the source file the download the SDK PHP SDK version 5 and just get started if you don't know how to do this you need to watch the beginning videos like you know the video number three for the canvas and the video number two for the website integration okay after changing the basic things app by the app secrets and putting the graphic API version that you want to use and make sure it is the higher version than you have been allowed by the Facebook and for this we need the permission the user underscore managed underscore groups we added in the developer account and now we add it in the script so if you scroll down the rest of the code is the same that we're working okay so here we go validating and this is the code that we're going to talk about in for this video we're going to get the list of groups managed by user. The first thing I did is use the get on the you know Facebook Super Service class, and I use the groups edge on the user object. 
By using this group search, I could get the name, ID, and the privacy of the groups which are managed by the user. So after getting this, I use the get graph edge because I'm working on the edge, and then uh, I, you know, got the results as array for you know, for just easy stuff, you know. It's easy to utilize the you know, the array than the graph object. Okay, so here we go. Everything is stored in this variable. It holds the multi-dimensional arrays. Uh, you know, multi-dimensional arrays. So I printed the that array on the screen using print underscore r function. So save it. Upload the file. And I'll get back to your application URL. And as you can see, it is asking me for the public underscore profile, public profile permission and the groups that I manage. I'm gonna go click OK for this. There we go. That's an array, an index array, and we've got value well, zero, one, two, and inside that we've got another array, name, privacy, and ID keys that we're going to use to get the values. So for this, you can use the for each loop, put in the array variable that we've got, and as key, and we can echo the name of the groups it's not like this it's an array so the name that's the key value and we can put a line break it's uploaded refresh the page and now we should get only the names there we go so these are the groups that I manage on Facebook and all of these groups got the privacy of, of secret. So in the next tutorial I will show you how to post in single group that you manage or in all groups that you manage. So stay tuned for that video and thank you for watching this video.